Surjit Singh Choker was murdered at the gate of his girlfriend's house, beaten by three men and stabbed. It's taken three trials and two independent inquiries, but today, after almost two decades, Ronnie Coulter became the first person to be convicted for the murder. This is a moment Mr Choker's mother and sister have waited so long to see. Whilst the dead cannot cry out for justice, it is the duty of the living to do so for them. The Choker family have done just that and have also placed victims' rights at the heart of a modern criminal justice system which will be their legacy for generations to come. This conviction was only possible because a change in the law allowed a retrial. The Chokers previously saw three men acquitted of murder and watched Ronnie Coulter walk free. The real verdict is one of institutional racism. That's the real verdict. Institutional racism right at the heart of the police and the Crown Office in this country. A high-profile campaign for justice began with support from Stephen Lawrence's parents, but the Chokers still couldn't even lay flowers at the murder scene without facing intimidation and racist abuse. Can he speak English? Just it 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 the Choker family didn't feel able to return to that Lanarkshire estate until now. How does it feel for you coming back here? Very hard. You've never given up fighting? No. I would never have given up fighting. Because I want to show my brother face that I never sat back. While we were talking, one of the original three men acquitted of murder walked right past us. Andrew Coulter admits he was there the night of the killing and served 15 months for assaulting Mr Choker with this homemade bat. Pity that three people were charged with my brother's murder. Only one's been sentenced. Other two are roaming on the streets, living with their families. There's nothing we can do. The story's finished. That's it. Surjit Singh Choker's father, Darshan, died last year without seeing this conclusion. But his wife and daughter were there, and today the Chokers left a British court knowing what justice feels like. Peter Smith, News at 10, Glasgow.